Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Ashley Bishop. Krista Bame has the weekend off. April marks Autism Awareness Month. It's a nationwide effort to promote autism awareness, inclusion, and self-determination for everyone. According to the CDC, one in 68 children in the U.S. have been identified with the autism spectrum disorder. Now here in Fargo, the Plains Art Museum started a program called Autism in Art. It's designed for children with autism to make friends with children just like themselves. Valley News Team's Yovana Simich takes us inside Autism in Art. It is really, really great. It is so inclusive, it is so welcoming, it's so edifying and educational. John David Burdahl is one of many that felt welcome at the Plains Art Museum Autism and Art event. The program, in its second year, is designed for families whose kids have autism. There aren't a lot of opportunities for families to engage with their child with autism, especially in a modified environment where everything is um, does designed specifically for their child. From painting to storytelling, the event made everyone feel welcome. Colness says nowadays more people understand autism, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done to promote autism awareness. There needs to be more inclusive opportunities for these children. A lot of people are starting to recognize autism and understand what it is, but there still isn't that inclusive environment. And more programs like these are popping up around the country. Movie theater companies like Marcus Theaters is offering special showings for those with special needs all throughout the year. Years ago, there was nothing for children who have autism, and now the awareness is growing. and communities are wanting to become more inclusive and they're more accepting of the idea. Making people like Birdall and people with autism feeling more open about their condition. It's just fabulous. That means awareness is growing. You know, individuals are talking about it. There's a discussion and so perhaps a new perspective will arise from that. In Fargo, Yovana Simic, Valley News Live. Autism and Art happens twice a year, and they are hoping to add more programs. For more information, head over to valleynewslive.com and click on this story.